But I just really did want to have roughly the same situation going so that I can compare. Also, I'm hoping that today my vlogging camera will survive the trip. If you remember last time it cut out at 16 minutes. Well, I did a test yesterday and it appeared to last 27 minutes. So obviously the battery needed to be charged and drained a couple of times before it started to hold a decent charge so I'm hoping that that will continue for the next few weeks that it will uh, continue to sort of top itself up in terms of length of service if you like the reason I'm saying that is because when you're doing a drive-along vlog like this, you know, I can't go changing batteries halfway through the trip. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to be seeing that, do you? No. <laughs> Good point, so. Now, the other thing is I have no idea how long the battery on the cell phone lasts, so we're about to find that out as well. I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, it was a good one for me. I had a lot of achievement. I'm very proud of myself. I got out and got exercise on two of the three days. In fact, I think I did three out of three days now that I think about it. Uh, the only problem that I had is because I switched to a new cell phone, my program that counts my steps did not transfer over the log of what I had done on prior to Saturday. Um, in other words, that great 6,000 steps I did on Saturday was not counted in my steps for the week. Now, I wouldn't have minded if it had just missed out from Friday, but Saturday was a big day for me. But I am really pleased, I have to say that. Uh, for those of you who continue to follow that, I'm really pleased that this, as I call it, my I'm a slob watch, um, has definitely had impact. And I think why, the reason why is because you actually the only time I ever take it off is to charge it. You know, I'm not taking it off and putting it back on again and doing all that sort of thing. It just stays on the whole time. And the only time I take it off is to charge it. And the trick is to charge it and then remember to put it back on again. But I am definitely much more aware. It is now part of my life that I check in to see how many steps I've done. And that to me is a really important um, part of my well-being. Now then, for those of you who've got slow cookers, oh, I cooked <laughs> a, a, whole, a whole loin of pork, which I think I picked up at Walmart for 12 bucks, which was a really good deal. Um, I picked up a whole loin of pork and I put it in the slow cooker I pre-cooked it funny enough in the halogen because I wanted to put it in overnight so I pre-cooked it and then I put it in the halogen overnight with like a cup of soy sauce, a cup of balsamic vinegar, about half a cup of honey, and 
a good cup at least of um, uh, what do you call it so <laughs> stock uh, what do you call stock in Canada uh, in America yeah right <laughs> you'll understand when you get to my age uh, I'll think of it in about six months time <laughs> you know when you crumble the cubes into the water that stuff <laughs> or if you happen to have the bovril one you just squeeze some uh, over the top but anyway it, I had about a cup of whatever that's called bouillon but that's the French so what is it in, in American I don't know I do know, but I can't remember. So, <laughs> work it out. <laughs> um, and then I just let it sit and slowly cook away over. Oh, I want to tell you something. It was so good the next morning so tasty the next morning that I literally had to have some for breakfast. <laughs> now it's not often that I have roast pork for breakfast or in this case braised pork for breakfast but <laughs> it was that good I couldn't resist it. So I literally had uh, made some mashed potato ready for the evening meal and I just grabbed some of that and I put the piece of pork on there and some gravy and that's what I had for breakfast and it was definitely one of my better decisions the <laughs> for those of you who've been concerned about my fall on Thursday I seem to be okay today. Um, I was doing pretty well on Saturday when I did my uh, nearly three mile walk. But I paid for it yesterday. And the way I paid for it yesterday was I could really feel it when I sat down and tried to do the broadcast. It wasn't that it was difficult when I was doing things around the house, it was when I sat down, uh, it was difficult, quite painful in my lower back. So I then decided, well, maybe my body needed a bit more ibuprofen, so I took some more last night. I went to bed and I took a bit more about halfway through the night and I must say that so far touch wood uh, so far today it's been it's been good we'll get a better idea after I try to sit for a whole day at work so on the exercise side I am very very proud of myself I've done um, quite a bit the interesting thing will be, will it translate into any change in my weight? The answer to that will be, that will depend on what I put into my system. And I'm really beginning to understand that that is the bugaboo here, which is I can do all the right things and be stronger, if you like, in certain ways because of the exercise, but losing weight has so much to do with what are you feeding into your body? And so I worked very hard last night not to have seconds of that pork. <laughs> um, and I did not have dessert, which is what I would normally do on a Sunday. So we'll see if during the week my body loses some weight or not. Let's hope that it does. 
the thing that I really must say is this weekend I also of course got the new phone and I got it at a price that I wanted which was really good which was no money above and beyond um, what I'm paying per month of course the difficulty is that they just make you pay more a month but I have to say that the quality of the camera in the cell phone has stunned me it really stunned me I, I honestly believe that in some ways it was better than my Sony but I, I've really got to do some comparative shots and that's what I'm going to do one day is I'm going to do the same thing but with my Sony and then with my cell to see the difference and maybe even with my old cell to see the difference there are lots of options now now apparently my Samsung is a what they call a locked phone and so now I've got a page, I have it unlocked. Uh, you know, that's the thing that gets me nowadays. That almost everything costs you more. You know, you think you've, you've bought something, but you haven't. You've only bought... It's like saying, okay, I've bought a car, but now I've got to go and buy wheels in order for it to actually work. And I don't know about anybody else, but that really starts is starting to upset me a great deal, which is where are all these add-ons that you... It's not a luxury, the add-on. It's, you know, it's important. So I need to have an unlocked phone to be able to go across to the States and not get dinged unmercifully when I do that. And as I'm going to be going across to the States in the near future, um, that's rather important in my life. Be grateful, sir. <laughs> be grateful that you have the phone, and I am. And be grateful that you have the camera, and I'm very grateful. I'm also very grateful. I don't know if there's anybody's been, other than Sophie and myself, have been uh, watching this, but we've managed to get the Instagram up to... I think it was 1300 when I looked this morning. Which is very exciting because that's double where it was a year ago. So I am very, very excited about that. And obviously I'm taking better pictures or something. to start a series in the summer sometime in the coming near future uh, of my journeys around the world and the reason that I am stalling on it is I actually want to get a an atlas to, or, or a map so that I can stick it on one of my walls for you and then I can literally start putting push pins in it for you. That'll make a real mess of my wall. Okay, so I'm going to get a map mounted on polystyrene. <laughs> and then then I can push push pins into it. Okay, got it. Uh, because there are just so many places that I realize that I have visited in the world. And some have got some great memories attached to them, ones that I probably wouldn't necessarily think of uh, until I did that. So I'm looking forward to it. 
All right, so the good news is the camera seems to have lasted quite well because we're at 16 minutes now and it's still going, which is good. Uh, and the definitely the cell is still working well, so that's also good. I'm trying to see which one of them runs out first. And I have definitely not run the cell phone battery out yet. So that's basically what I'm trying to do is to actually drain it quite a bit and then recharge it at work. <laughs> what you're asking me is, Sal, did you bring the charger? Yep. That's a good thing. Now the other thing is that I haven't tried yet. I've got a universal charger sitting up here that feeds my Bluetooth in the car and I'm just wondering whether and it's got four different adapters on it. Now one of the adapters might be the right one for the Canon and if it is if it is then it isn't an issue because I will just put it on charge as I'm driving which will then not necessarily top it up but it will slow the amount of battery that it pulls. Yay, we like that. And the other thing I did um, was I pulled down the quality of the picture by one notch because I thought that would take up less everything. Big news is that for those of you who remember Zach and his daddy Cody um, and his wife Bronwyn, they are imminently about to produce another baby. In other words, uh, literally she's already had one false start at this. Uh, rushed to hospital and they turned her around and said, no, you can go home again. Uh, so <laughs> it wasn't dilated enough. So that's very exciting in our family on this side. So we'll get to meet a new member of the family. I have no idea whether it's going to be a girl or a boy. I do know that um, she's had a really tough time on this pregnancy. I think some people just do, you know, some people literally get pregnant and drop babies and other people have a really tough time of it and um, she is one of them so I'm sure she will be just only too happy if the baby comes out healthy and, and as will we all so that's good stuff all right, this is excellent, people. Both cameras have lasted the trip. I'm probably about five minutes away, so that's good. <laughs> My weekend update is just about done. I'm trying to think what else I did that was of interest to you guys this weekend. I'm trying to practice a little bit more about doing... Um, videos when I'm out and about because I've realized that I will need to do that more when I am retired although how much I'll be going out and about I don't know but I'm going to try and force myself to do at least one trip somewhere every week because I would imagine for me the temptation will be to spend way too much time inside and not doing stuff and not getting exercise. So it would be nice to take the car and go somewhere scenic so that I can show you guys. I, I'm glad that when I do those walks that you guys enjoy the scenery. It's good. Uh, somebody asked me a question and that's a good thing in case anybody else wondered about that. When I was showing you the, the bird sanctuary place and I showed you that the that first area had six foot of water in it and they were draining it off. It like it came all the way up and then it went into a drain once it got to six foot. And the question was, where does that water go? 
And that was a good question. I spent some time trying to research it to find out how they had designed that whole fen. And from what I can gather, they, they actually designed a whole series of ponds. Um, and so, whilst all the ponds will fill up to a certain degree with natural rainfall, they built them at, at slightly different heights so that if the first pond got too deep, then it could drain into the second pond and that in turn, if it got too deep, would drain into the third pond. And by the way, those ponds eventually, because it is a uh, fen right next to the water, it's a very waterlogged area, um, 